violence erupted in the town Monday night after youth groups from two electoral areas within the town clashed following an attack on a young man who police say was robbed of his mobile phone on Christmas Eve. At least four people were injured as a rampaging youth destroyed some properties forcing residents to flee for safety. The police were later called in to maintain law and order. They held talks with opinion leaders and urged the youth to remain calm. Security was later beefed up in the area following reports of fresh attack on a local mosque by some unknown persons. The police have however confirmed the arrest of three suspects. Chief Superintendent Stephen Kwesikwache is district commander. And uh, currently three of them are in custody and they are assisting investigation. Whilst uh, the victims have also been visited at the hospital. She yourself can even bear us out that when they're coming, there's two their peace in town. And we are not withdrawing the men. And as I said, there are certain things we know even put it on air. Um, security matters is involved a lot. Um, the uniformed men are patrolling, as well as the CID men are also going around. At the Municipal Security Council meeting, BMC in the North Sesi Bibonsu said the council has put in place measures to ensure lasting peace in the area. The conflict and the situation is under control. That's what I tell you. And you can see the Zongo chief here and then the Mapontin Hines representative is also around. He came and there's been a mutual agreement that they are all going to be peaceful. And we came to a conclusion that this is not an escalation between the Zongo youth and the Asante youth has been perceived out there. Some criminals perpetrated the whole thing. So we are going to arrest the corporates as the mother is standing beside me. And on the way forward, like we were saying, I've had them perform a WhatsApp platform. About 10 people from the Zogo side Understanding, we, we, we saw it right off there so that we wouldn't be any escalations. Reporting for George.